So you guys start heading west, and as you start uh, heading west, it's uh, like I said, it's like noon. Um, the weather outside is pretty nice. Um, just a few little clouds in the sky, nothing serious. Um, as you guys start, uh, are you intending on camping for the night? Because this is going to be a two-day journey. Yes. Sure. Okay. So, um, as you, as you, as it's getting darker, the weather, it starts getting more cloudy. Like, it, it doesn't look like a serious, uh, storm is coming in or anything, but there is a pretty heavy overcast. Um, but you guys go through your, your first day without too many issues. Um, I don't think you, you guys weren't really doing anything, so there's nothing to check there. Um, so what are you guys going to do for camp? You all would have basic camping gear and stuff anyway, I would assume. Find a clearing and set up camp, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Do you... In their camp stuff. I'm going to set up a small little station with, like, little beakers and, like little mixing things, you know, like mortar and pestle and all those things, right? And then I'm going to look around camp for any herbs or anything like that, or beehives. Okay. In the dark? Do tur- Hang on, I have to check something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do turtles have dark vision? Hmm. Dang it! Nope. Light a torch. <laughs> uh, so <sighs> let's see. You're gonna have to make a investigation check. What are you, what exactly are you looking for? I'm Just looking... any mushrooms, or no, 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 no. We we don't use mushrooms in mead. Oh, we're you said herbs, like honey. Or flowers, or stuff like that. Okay. Um. Oh, my dice tree is right here. <laughs> Alright, what do I roll? Investigation. Ooh, Fifteen! Not bad. Okay, so... You, you've been doing this long enough, you know what you're looking for, the type of environments... Um, you'll find certain things in. Uh, so you're able to find a few of the the herbs that you're looking for, but that's about it for around here. That's about all you can find, especially in the dark by torchlight. Um, Take it. Okay. All right. So I go back to camp. All right, kids. Okay. We're going to have breakfast mead. Oh. Yeah. So my arms go inside my shell, and then you hear like a bunch of glassware like clinking together, <laughs> and then they <laughs> pop back out, and it's a it's a, like a little jar of like water, and I'm gonna pour it into the beaker, and then I'm gonna crush up a bunch of those herbs, and then I'm gonna pour those in, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of honey and just go, and it's two drops. It's only two drops, and then I'm gonna put it over the fire. Mm -hmm. That'll be ready okay. in the morning. <laughs> Can't wait. Let's see. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to bed. I'm just going to hobble off. I'm just going to bloop into my shell. And it's just going to sit there. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm trying to and, see. I'm going to go find a tree. And pull out one of my daggers and make an M and a K into the tree. Just a small little carving. Okay. Uh, Jacob, I want you to roll for making that mead. But I'm not sure what you would even roll for it. I guess maybe just a general intelligence. So, so I have proficiency okay. in brewer's tools. Okay. So it would be like... It would just so be like... Efficient. Sure. Yeah, so do proficiency plus intelligence because you have knowledge of it anyway. Ooh, nine. Okay. 
<laughs> oh no, it's gonna be really bad. All right. Um, anybody else doing anything before bed? Oops. Did you carve like an M plus K, or was it like M K? No, just M K. No, no plus. Oh, okay. I'm gonna like look over and be like, whose initials are those? Are they yours or like mine? Your girlfriend? You're like, no, okay. Mine. I just mark my territory okay. everywhere I sleep. Oh, are you gonna pee on it too? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna walk away and I'm gonna go just, I don't know, find a place to lay down. That's it. Okay. Yeah, oh, we're right. both just gonna get some sleep. <laughs> okay. And are you guys camping just off of the road? Or um, are you going to try and go further in? Because there, there's, it's pretty heavily wooded around here. This is real close to Elven Land, which is, you know, trees everywhere. We should go further like, in. Sure. Is there like mm. a clearing we can find? Uh, yeah, yeah. You find it e easy enough, um, and, you know, deal with your mead making and everything else there. <laughs> I just wanted okay. to double check for my sake. I'm a little yeah. bit further in. I'm like trees all around me. Okay. So you're going to camp a little separate from just a little bit, yeah. the rest of the group. Yeah. <laughs> just enough to be edgy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. Um, nobody, nobody staying up. Okay. Orgo is not doing it. Staying. He's walking. driving the wagon. Oh, what are you about. talking about? Nap all the way here. <laughs> we didn't talk about it. Okay. So, um, <laughs> it's gonna be bad. You guys all wake up. No issues. Just at the, the break of dawn. Um, no, no bad stuff happened, Abby. Went better than expected. <laughs> you, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess you guys kind of lucked out there. Um, so, you guys can... What do you want to do? One's breakfast meat! <laughs> you didn't keep the fire going. Oof. It's on a bur it's a little burner thing. It's like it's you have a burner thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a little burner thing. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I don't know. Hang on. <laughs> Let me consult my brewer's manual. You do that because I don't know anything about the the monks or brewing. <laughs> oh, while this is going on, I kind of yeah. shuffle leaves kind of back where over where I was laying. And I roll up my little bedroll, put it in my bag, and then head okay. over to the rest of the people. Okay. Uh, Orgov's just going to eat some beef jerky that he brought with him, because he doesn't trust anything that came out of that show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assume I have food, and I'm going to eat it. I'm like, standing next to Goose, who's my only friend here. <laughs> <laughs> Such an odd group. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting though. Really and then uh, Orgo's gonna get uh, on the wagon and just be ready to go. Actually, like I can't find brewer supplies in the handbook, so I'm actually having to Google them. Okay, I didn't realize they have a burner <laughs> and how it would even operate. Oh, it's a history check to do brewing. That's interesting. Hmm. That's weird. Hang on. I guess I it kind of makes sense, because you're generally following a historical recipe. Continue with the story. I'll, well... I'll pop back in here in a sec. Nobody wants your breakfast meat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll have some. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, uh, you guys break down your camps, get stuff packed up. Um, while we're waiting on him to deal with his mead 
Um, yeah, we'll see you guys get back on the road. Do what? I, said, I guess I'll try some of the breakfast. Okay. But, so, everyone but yeah, Orgolg. Yes. Jacob, you drink your own <laughs> supply? Of course. <laughs> it's a stamp of quality when the brewer drinks their own stuff. The people that made, that uh, drank uh, make a quick constitution saving throw. <laughs> oh, no. Her. 18. Uh, oh, 10. A 20. I rolled okay. a 20. Okay. So nothing uh, really happens uh, besides to Fern. You get a little bit of a tummy ache from it. Because it wasn't wasn't made quite properly, but uh, not. But I mean, with, the, with those ingredients, with those ingredients, it wasn't going to to mess you up too much. And he still he still yeah <laughs> could have been worse. He could have found like uh, the wrong stuff searching in the dark, and then that would have been everybody's bad. dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turns out that was Nightshade. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> All right. Um. So the rest of the evening, the um, the it, the overcast. It, it's been overcast all night, but there was no no rain or anything coming through. But now there's starting to be a steady drizzle uh, as you're going on your your journey. Um, I put my hood up. Okay. Just in my shell. Just. It reminds me of when I was a hatchling. <laughs> the rain would drizzle <laughs> down the rocks. It was nice. And then you just you just hear it coming from the shell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So what is, um? I guess the marching order of you all. I mean, the road is wide enough that you could. Uh, two or three of you could go side by side if you wanted, but it's up to y'all. I'll stick in the middle. Okay. I'll then... be on the outside. Orgol, you gonna ride in the back with the cart or the front or just? Uh. Yeah, roll roll in the back. Okay. I'll be up front. Then okay. Uh, it... Go ahead and make a perception check. <laughs> it's now getting close to noon or so. 19. 19. Okay. Um, okay. Um, you kind of see something off in the, the, the trees. The, the road is still pretty heavily forested. Uh, through here, um, and you you see something going off through there, but you don't get a good look at it. There, there's too many trees and there's too many animals around. There's no telling. Was it like movement or was it? Yeah, just movement. Okay. It's not. It wasn't in the trees. It was on the the ground, uh, uh, like the forest floor. Okay. <clears throat> um. So you guys go, uh, just a little bit further, um. Maybe another another hour through there, um, and then when the uh, the road starts to bend towards Onoa, uh, there's a there's a fork in the road. Uh, one goes to Iman, and the other one goes towards Onoa. You can assume, but the uh, the road post there doesn't even have a uh, a sign for Onoa. Um, generally because nobody goes there anymore and uh you can see the road there has been uh there's not much of a road left um the foliage and stuff have kind of retaken the road there since nobody's been traveling through um so um you guys start heading down that direction and then I want you to make one more perception check. Whoever's in the front. Uh, 21. Okay. 
So, as you guys start heading down that path, um, the the forestry starts getting a little bit thicker since nobody has been around to deal with that. Nobody cares. Um, the forest gets a lot thicker there. And as you start getting deeper into it, you start hearing noise in the trees above you. And just as you look up, someone jumps down at you. Oh, shit. So I need you all to roll for initiative. So bad. So bad. Um, now, just to double check, we add our dexterity, right? Yep. All right. Yep. It's been a while since I've played in actual. <laughs> So, with that, um, ah. let me make sure. I'm not. I think it lets me. You just do the screen share in the Discord, Jacob. Uh, yeah, so or... you just hit screen share. If you have tabletop open, it'll say, yeah. yeah. Which one? Uh, it'll, it'll say, okay. yeah, so... there you go. There we go. Yep. <clears throat> so, for the purposes of the battle, I've thinned down how many trees are around here, so it's easier to see, but um, you guys were heading through here, heading west. Uh, well, I guess more southwest. But anyway... Um, there was, is it, oh, not that one, that's the one. This guy was kind of up in the front there, um, get this. So I've got you guys some, some figures here. Jacob is obviously this, whoops, uh, turtle here. <laughs> that handsome uh, devil is what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, Got a gnome wizard here for Abby. And then I'm glad I had two different rogue kind of figures set up. We're going to have, <laughs> uh, was it Markai? Morkai, yeah. Morkai. Uh, you'll be the smaller uh, brown rogue figure. And then we'll have um, Brady's character be this he has taller one since he is <laughs> taller. I know. I just because of the, I keep wanting to call him Gorgol, but I know it's Orgol because you put too many G's in there. <laughs> so we had um. These are going to be five foot uh, squares. By the way, we'll just have it set up kind of like that. So this guy jumped out of the tree at you, but you were able to see him as it happened. So, um, but he did, he did make an attack on you as this happened. Um, and you guys can see kind of these other figures over here. Um, let's see. So what is your AC? Oh, 15. well, I guess that doesn't matter because that was a natural one so he jumped out of the tree at you but misjudged the distance because of the horseback excuse me and uh missed entirely and just hit the ground I laugh at him. <laughs> get him <laughs> they're not exactly smart go ahead Okay, so what is your uh, your initiative rolls? Seven or no? Let's do uh, twenty to fifteen. Uh, yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, Seventeen. Okay. Quick math. So. Okay, and then uh, fifteen to ten. Ten. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Yeah. Thirteen. Now. Uh, ten to five. Nine. Nine. Oh, we both oh, got a nine. Which one of you has the higher dexterity modifier? Mine's I plus two. Three. Mine's a three. Four. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, so nine. then Orgolg. 
You guys are lucky. And then... Better be lucky than good. Because I've already rolled really badly a couple of times. Um, so the baddies are going to be going last. Um, and then... So, uh, Markai, go ahead and take your turn. Um, does jumping off the horse count as an action? Uh, we'll say that getting off the horse will take up your bonus action. Okay, that'll work. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna jump off the horse and stab the guy on the ground. That tried to attack okay. me. Okay, okay. Uh, roll to hit. What, what am I adding here? So you've got a proficiency bonus. Um, I'm not sure what your paper looks like. Your proficiency is probably like a... Three. Uh, plus three. Uh, okay, and then... Uh, are you using a dagger? Short sword. A short sword? I think that's a... a not a finesse. What do, what do they call it? Why? Well, I... I um, short sword, you can use your uh, dex. Weapon, then he just uses his strength. Right, that's what I'm... I, I think a short sword can be used as either, though. Let me check. I think it is, because I used it one time. I'll okay. I'll it yeah, so it'll be your proficiency. You have an attack modifier somewhere on your paper, which is... But it is your proficiency plus your dex bonus if you're using your... Okay. A dex-based weapon. Okay. Um, yeah. Or it's... it's it's always your proficiency, if you're proficient with that weapon, which, ow, um, you should be. So Short it'll be... Sword is a finesse weapon. Yeah. So, uh, what is, what's your dex? Uh, it's plus three. Your, plus three, so you have a... Oh, no, wait, no, plus, plus four. So I have plus, plus four. Okay, so there you go, so yeah, right. you're d20 plus seven. Alright, easy enough. And then, okay, I see, okay, yep. Um... Fifteen. Fifteen to hit? Yes. Okay. Wrong paper. <laughs> believe that is a hit. Just barely. Yep. Yeah, you just barely hit him. So go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, oh wait, no, wrong one. Shoot. You just add your uh, nine. Nine, yeah. Okay. So he takes another nine damage. Plus he took a few damage from his little escapade there. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So that's your. Do you want to move anywhere else? You've used your action and bonus action. Now you still have movement if you'd like to move, but. If you move, that guy will have uh, a free attack at you. Um, I think I'm good. Okay. Yeah. So then it is Sheldon's turn. So I hear a commotion as I'm asleep. So I go... Huh? <laughs> yeah, you would have uh, hear, heard a guy screaming. <laughs> I probably <laughs> I look around, and I see that there are hoodlums this whole thing, the cart. So I am going to climb out of the cart and move ten feet to uh, next to the tree. This one? Yeah. Okay, so that'll be... Well, it'd be like 5, 10, 15 to move over here. Oh, well, then I don't want to be there. One to the right. Over here? Nope, 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 nope. Above the orc. <laughs> oh, you're wanting to move just straight forward? Nope, nope, nope. The orc orc, not the half orc. Okay, so you're wanting to move here next nope, to her? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, you're going to have to be a little bit more specific okay. here. That's in front I of the orc orc. Up from where you are right now. You're nope. wanting to occupy this Too space? Right. Too right. Okay. Over there here? I go. There oh my god. There it is. <laughs> That's uh, really above the orc, not in front That's of the orc. That's what I said. I said above the orc. Okay. 
And I'm going to sit there Maybe and watch. I heard it wrong. Okay. That's it? No. Yep, that's my turn. Okay. Um... <laughs> Uh, Orgolg's turn. Alright. Uh, Orgolg's gonna whip out his short bow. Mm -hmm. While on top, still on top of the carriage. And he's gonna take aim at this guy that's like off to the left of where we were headed. Um, this guy down here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What's that's your within movement? my range. It's a, I have a range of 80 feet. Oh yeah, you're sh you're using your short bow. Okay. Yeah. Um, and my rogue class, one of my features is I have assassinate, so I have advantage uh, against anybody that hasn't had a turn yet. Mm -hmm. And if I okay. hit, it's an automatic critical. Okay. Make your roll. Twenty-three. That's a hit. <laughs> Alright, so what happens when it's critical? Roll your dice, and then double them. And then add your damage bonus. Terrific. Wait, which, which dice? My, my your, damage dice? Your damage dice, yeah. I think it's a, what is it, a D6, a D6 for a short bonus. Plus, yeah, yeah, so D6, double it. Fuck. It's a one. Okay, so it's a two plus your <laughs> dex, which is a three, I think. Yeah. So, five. Do you have any other things from critting? Uh, uh, you get sneak attack at all? I do get sneak attack, yeah. Deal extra damage to one creature hit if attack with advantage. Yep. Uh, yeah. Using a range weapon. It's, it's 2d6 attack, right now, I think. Okay. Yeah, so I think you would double the sneak attack damage as well, correct? It's 3d6. Oh, it's 3. Okay. Double all so take the 1, and then roll 3d6 more, and then we'll double that. Okay, so it's... I rolled a 4. Okay. A 2. And another 2. So, 9 eight. total. Yep, so that's 18 plus your 3, so that's 21. Perfect. Sneak attack, man. Mm -hmm. Can't beat it. Yeah, I love sneak attack. Yeah. And, so and then, as an orc, I am aggressive. So for my bonus action, I get to move closer towards an enemy. Mm -hmm. So I will dismount and then head up to this guy that everybody's attacking. Okay. Uh, like here? Uh, let's go behind him. Behind him? Okay. Yeah, here. like on the other side of that tree. Right. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, Fern. Yes. It is your turn. <laughs> uh, by the way, that guy you, you shot is already... <laughs> that hurt him. You, you yeah. hit him... Yeah. Uh, you, you hit him, like, square in the chest, and it hit so hard that it, it knocked him... Like he had, he took a couple of steps back when you when you hit him, and uh, yeah. Anyway, now it is for turn. Or okay. Gold's gonna let out a victory <laughs> cry. How's <laughs> Homie <laughs> in front of us looking? What's that? How's he? How's he looking? Like real bad? Like not Which too one? bad? The one Orgol just one shot. Yeah. Oh, the one that just jumped? Uh, he's, yeah. he's bloodied. Um, I wouldn't say he's near death, but he's beat up. Okay, cool. Um, then I'm going to cast Troll of the Dead. He has to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. What is the... 14. Oh my god, that's another natural one. Yay! Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, okay. Twelve damage. So what? Twelve damage? Two D twelve damage. 
Two. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got to okay. roll it. Okay. Oh, I rolled a 12. Holy shit. Okay, so <laughs> it's 15 damage. World of Too bad we rolled as well in the main campaign. <laughs> <laughs> well, There's some shots good. fired from the grumpy old man. I roll perfectly fine most of the time. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I don't think I can do anything. What's that? Oh, I, just don't, I don't think I can do anything else. That's probably it for right now. It, no, I'll hop off my horse. How about that? Oh, okay. Dismount this. <laughs> so, uh, you all just hear like a, a dull thud in the air, and hear like the sound of a bell ringing, and the the guy that you guys have kind of like swarmed around now. You see him grab at his head and his ears, and blood just starts coming out of his eyes, and he just falls over yeah. dead. Who we can see the yeah, ghost. I killed him. Do what, you Jacob? Can see I the, killed him. the Twitch feed on your computer. There it is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, just set him over he here. He has a die animation, though. Show the die animation. Okay. <laughs> I want to see him die. <laughs> <laughs> He's my <laughs> cousin. <laughs> 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 he did. Well, I guess we'll leave him dead there. Be easy to keep track of yeah. for searching. Um. Okay. So now it is their turn. So we've got this guy here. Ten, fifteen, one, five. 30 to move into this space and he is going to make a swing at Morkai also what's attacking us are these elves like what's going on oops oh yeah so um because of the just drop my die total <laughs> failures okay um so the the ones that are attacking you they're kind of a, a mix of people but it's mostly humans um okay. like the there there's an elf back here as uh this ranger here but the rest of them are all humans cool 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 there it is okay so he's making a swing what is your ac morkai 15, 15. okay well, that was not a natural one we're in business <laughs> uh, that was a twenty-two to hit. Uh, uh so yes. question: When yes. do I declare uncanny dodge? Uh, you can you can declare it um, after the damage has been dealt. Pretty much any any time you uh, generally want to know how much damage is coming towards you before you okay. yeah. uncanny dodge it. I believe. Um. So, now we'll roll the damage. You take uh, five damage I'll from that it. attack. Take it like a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, he is going to use his bonus action, second win, to no. heal himself a little bit. Yeah. What a dick. Was it, is this yeah. the guy that... Uh, and that is the one shot or <laughs> yeah uh yeah he was pretty beat up and he's okay. he's pissed off so he ran charging in there he couldn't get to uh Orgulg. uh didn't really see <laughs> where they yeah <laughs> um so he heals for seven the closest orc that he could get to <laughs> Okay. Um now these guys are gonna move up just a little bit. Well, let's just move them to the side. Uh let's see. Oh yeah, they're well within range at this point. Um 
mouse is hovering. Huh? It was on me. <laughs> That's <laughs> not, not intentional. <laughs> uh, one of them is going to take a shot at Orgolg, and the other one is going to take a shot at uh, Morkai. They're, they haven't seen what the other two can do, and they didn't haven't engaged yet, really. So, well, um, Fern did, but they didn't really see everything that happened there because they were far enough away that they they heard a sound and they're like, "What the hell?" <laughs> um, all right. So, first shot. This one shooting at Orgolg here. Oops. Bring it on. That is a. Uh, 18 to hit. Uh, that hits. Okay. That. Uh, four damage. Four damage. He'll take it. Man. You also gonna take it like a man? Like Morkai? <laughs> or I, I can guess do it every, work. every round, though, right? <laughs> the, you, one reaction per, per round. So you used it um or oh, so, I, already no, I guess reacted, yeah. uh or no that was my bonus no. action no no you didn't react um morkai did to yeah, take I'll go half. ahead and uh, i'll cut that in half i think okay. neither of them did Wait, when did i don't think start? morkai did. i i thought you used it on that attack that hit you no okay gotcha okay so then uh so you take that and then the other arrow is going at morkai so it did four so i cut that in half to a two Yes. Okay, oh, just double check. Now the rolls are coming in. That's a 21 to hit. That hits. I guess I was overdue after like three natural ones in a row. <laughs> uh, six um, damage. Okay. And then... Um, so the, these guys kind of shot in unison at the two of you, so you both just kind of hear the arrow coming in and just hits uh hits Morkai kind of uh not in the shoulder a little bit lower on the chest like kind of your uh your right peck okay. uh and then uh it, it it hit Orgolg in his left shoulder um it's my favorite shoulder man oh, oh man cool. bummer <laughs> now he's pissed <laughs> And that guy's dead, so it is now top of the round. Back to Morkai. Cool. Uh, so now your reactions are, are back. So that's a bad guy standing like right in front of me, right? Yes. Alright, cool. Yeah, he uh, chopped at you. We're just gonna go ahead and slice him with my sword my short <laughs> sword. There we go. Okay. Words are hard. <laughs> Sixteen. That just hits. Sweet. Nine. Nine damage. Oof. So, uh, the guy had used his, uh, second wind on the last round to kind of regain his composure after or Orgolg, uh, hit him square in the chest with that arrow. And, uh, he is now, uh, you, you, wait, you have a, you, you have a short sword. It's, uh, Orgolg that has the rapier. So, uh, yes. you kind of come at him with the short sword after, uh, he had taken a swing at you and come in with a, a thrust and kind of hit him in his, uh, uh, kidney lower on the, on the right side of his body. And he just lets out a, lets out a growl like, Argh! And then he is still alive, but he is hurting. Um, if I don't move, can I do another attack? Is that a thing? No. Okay. Um, at certain levels, you okay. certain classes get extra attacks. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um, Wait, what? Uh... <laughs> You can use your bonus action, though, to disengage. Yes. 
if you uh, want to just step away from the guy. Yeah, I'll do you that. You can move five That's... feet. Yeah. I'll just move, like, okay. straight back. And... Okay. And he can't uh, take a swing at you. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Um, okay. That it? Yeah. Okay, Sheldon's turn. Pull a cask from uh, from my back. Hang on, let me open this. Those are, should be twists. They are, but I'm a weak man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad the fu first time you finally admit it is on a stream. <laughs> I guess I've got to get serious now. Oh, yeah. oh careful. He's going to go Master Roshi. <laughs> Nice mangoey flavor. Um, so I'm gonna move up to the guy. The one they've been attacking. Yep. So I downed that whole cask. Like the whole thing is just empty now. Mm -hmm. Jesus. This was just for a prop. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking <laughs> Lochnar over here. So I'm kind of like I'm kind of swaying back and forth a little bit, and I'm gonna look at the guy. And I'm gonna say, "You listen here, Sonny. You mess with my friends." And you're going to get a whooping. <laughs> a whooping. And I'm going to, I'm just going to like. Orgolg's going to yell out, we're not friends. Chest. <laughs> 22. 22 to hit. Wait, no, 23 to hit. <laughs> That's a hit. All right. Woohoo. Uh, nine. Okay. Do you attack with a staff or your fist? Nope, I just straight up punch him. You straight up punch him? Just boom, um, right in the chest. Okay, how tall are you? I am six foot four. Okay. I, for some reason, thought turtles were a little bit smaller than that. Nope, they're five to seven feet tall. Oh, jeez. Okay. Total we're so... big people. That's why I'm 450 pounds. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> This guy was already pretty bloodied, had a arrow sticking out of his chest, and uh, had been damaged from these other uh, stabs and swings at him. So you come in like a bat out of hell after drinking your keg, yelling at him, and just punch him square in the chest. And being from a monk, you guys just hear like a, a dull crack. And when the guy hits the ground, he is not moving. Hey, who's Damn. next? Has died. Who's next? Who wants some? Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> use my bonus action to use Step of the Wind to uh -huh. use a dash. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get right in that archer's face. So you had you moved like 15 feet to go here. Yeah, but it also. So then you uh, have how much uh, movement? Everything. How much movement do you have left? Uh, I have 25, so 50, because I'm dashing. Okay. And you're doing what now? I'm getting right in that archer's face. Okay. Which one? I don't care. I don't care. Um, okay. And I say, listen here, you little punk. Smack! And I'm just going <laughs> to punch him right in the face, because I have yep. another attack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 24! Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Five! Okay. Ow! Right in his stupid face. Right in the kisser. <laughs> Alright. And then I'm just so gonna you, be like, whoa. You see the guy go kind of wide-eyed as he sees a giant turtle hauling ass at him. <laughs> but he doesn't have a chance to react. Uh... How much damage? Oh, also, before I did all this, I wanted to, like, I took off my casks from my belt, and I stuck my staff in the ground, and I hung my casks on it so that they wouldn't get damaged. Okay. What, did you say that was Which nine damage? It was five. five. Five damage? Okay. Five. One for each finger. <laughs> uh, that it for your turn? Yep. 
Okay, Orgolg, you are up. All right. Orgolg's not going to be outdone by a total. <laughs> so he's going to use cunning action and dash as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. uh, to this other one that's not being attacked. Okay, the elf one. Because that, that yeah. one's an elf. Okay, okay, perfect. How much movement do you have? 60? 60 when I'm dashing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 550. Whoop. Stand up. Okay. Or actually, can Take I go your... around back so I can sneak attack? Well, he already knows that you are there, so you would have to, like, hide for your okay, okay. bonus action, which you used. Yeah, now I'll just run up on him and uh, use my rapier. Okay. Ooh, it's a 10. That's a yeah, lot. that's a miss. Yeah, after Magic. after seeing what happened to his buddy next to him, this guy has, is suddenly on high alert. <laughs> And now there's an orc, a giant orc, charging straight at them with a rapier. Uh, and is able to kind of just, uh, he kind of throws his arms up and moves, you know, like uh, like sidesteps out of the way. Kind of like a ole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sneaky for his size. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, I think that's going to be it for my turn. Okay. Fern, you are up. Okay, um, how far, my movement is only 25 feet, could I, how close could I get to those other guys? Um, it'd be 5, oh, 10, 15, I mean, you can get easily within a ranged, like a spell or something like that, but not melee. Okay. They're um, about like 40 feet away. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna It's from being an illusion wizard. <laughs> There's not much I can do. Yeah. Um, yeah that's I've been thinking about it. 3D graphics. When I was a boy mm. we had 16 bit and we thought it was cool. <laughs> what are those? Okay, so not the archers, but they're... Yeah, what is that thing on the, like, right? You know, you know those two things? I You can't see now the other ones. What other two that things? Are, like, I can't, there's, like, to the right, I guess. Like, those big things that are, like... There's there's just rocks. trees and rocks. And okay, so they're rocks. People. I thought that was one. Yes, yeah. cool. these are rocks. I couldn't tell what they were either for a second. Yeah. That makes sense. Cool. Um, let me look at the range on one thing. Oh my god, everything's a mess. I'm so sorry. <laughs> These are new spells. I don't know what anything is. It's about learning. Yep. <laughs> Trying new things. Kicking Being ass in different cool ways. Wizard. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't write down any. Like, I'm sorry. One second. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, then I'm gonna move, move my whole movement like towards them. I found something that I could do. <laughs> like just in their direction, as close as I can get. Okay. And Your movement is twenty-five. Um, yeah, because I'm small. Okay. And. and People. This is, I'm sorry, the description of the spell is so long. I'm That's fine. going to try to see how many people. What's what's the spell called? Phantasmal Force. I'm trying to see if I can like Okay, I'll just use I'll cast it on just one the one that uh Sheldon is engaged with. That Phantasmal Force. Um and make him think that he is on fire. And he has okay. to make an intelligence saving throw of 14. Intelligence. Okay. Or he takes 1d6 damage. Okay. Intelligence of 14. That is a... No. That was a natural 2. 
So he takes 1d6 psychic damage. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that would be, did not do it. That was not good. Four. He takes four damage. Okay. And okay. which one were you hitting? The This is a human one, one. That, this is the yeah. elf. The human? The human one. Okay. You said it was four damage? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, after recovering from the crazy turtle running and punching him right in the gut, he immediately looks up and he's got another wild look in his eyes and he's like, uh, uh and he starts like patting at his arms and stuff like he thinks he's on fire. <laughs> hey, that, oh, mm-hmm. You don't need to be freaking out about it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a little crazy. <laughs> Um, is that your turn, Fern? I believe so. I don't know that I can do any. Okay. It is their turn now. Let's see. Okay, so this one is going to... These guys are both, actually going to try and escape um the this guy here is just going to turn and and start running away jacob uh take your attack no trip him (laughs) natural 20 oh my god (laughs) is this this what it feels like when everything goes wrong on your side and right on theirs Sixteen. Oh. <laughs> okay. So as the guy Watch starts that. to, <laughs> as the guy starts to turn, you're able to, uh, because of the the rain, he kind of slips in the mud because he tried to go off at such a quick speed, and you just jump on him and punch him in the back of the head, and the, the <laughs> weight combined with that punch, he's just out cold. We got him. So then, this other one is a rogue. So it is going to use its cunning action to run away. No. No. Terrible. And, oh, sorry, hang on. No reaction on that? Uh. He disengaged. 